Hi, welcome to this Chroma tutorial on how to use Simplify 3D to slice multicolor models. I'm going to switch over to Simplify 3D. I have a process set up here to print in single color using a Type A Series 1 printer. I'll open that by double clicking. And I'm going to make a modification so that this prints properly with palette. I'll go to the other tab. This is under the advanced tab in Simplify 3D 3, but in V4, it is under the other tab. And I'm going to find the tool change retraction settings. I'm going to look at tool change retraction distance, and I'm going to change this value to zero. Similarly, for the extra restart distance, I'm also going to set that to zero. When I've done that, I will click OK. Now I'm going to add three more processes. Clicking the Add button and then clicking OK. Each of these processes will be a separate color in my model. So for the first process, I'll set it to Tool 0, which represents color 1. For the next process, I'll set it to Tool 1. Tool 2 for the third process and tool three for the final process. Next, I'm ready to bring in my multiple color model. In this case, I have four colors, so I'll have four STLs. I'll select them all and I'll click open. The first thing you'll notice is that the model is spread up into separate bodies on the print bed. To fix this, I am going to select all four of the models and holding shift, I will click Center and Arrange. This can also be done by choosing the Edit command and Align Selected Model Origins, which will snap them together in the same way. If I want to move these models around together, with them all selected, I can group them, choosing Edit and Group Selection. This can also be done by holding Control and hitting the G button on your keyboard. On a Mac, that is Command-G. From here, I can choose Edit and Place Surface on Bed, which will allow me to flip it down to the bed like that. And now I can drag the model around, and I can rotate it and scale it as I would a single color model. Next, I'm going to assign each of these models to a process. So starting with Process 1, I will select None and choose just the first model. I'll do the same process for the remaining tools. And now I have each of these four models assigned to each of these four processes. And I'm ready to prepare the printing code. I'll click Prepare to Print and select all four of the processes. And you'll notice that I have a four color model on my print bed. If you see this in a different sort of view representation, come over to coloring and make sure active tool head is selected. This will make sure that each of the tools are designated by a different color. And when you're happy with how the model looks, you can choose Save Tool Paths to Disk. And then you can bring that file into Chroma for post-processing.